Sooner or later, it happens to every editor. Something we've done has knocked stuff out of sync. To fix it is the same exact way that you would most likely break it. You're going to want to create a single roller trim and probably a video and not audio. Now, I'm just going to clear my source monitor just so we don't get confused. I'd like you to see that I'm nine frames out of sync here. Later in my timeline, I'm six frames out of sync. You're going to work from left to right across your timeline. You're going to do a single roller on the first clip that's out of sync. And then all you have to do is type in plus or minus the number you see. If you make a mistake, you just undo and do the other. So right here on this first edit, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to get rid of all of the other choices I have in the smart tool. And I'm just going to click right at this first edit. So it's a yellow trim roller. It's a ripple trim. And I'm going to click and I'm just going to say, oh, it says number nine there. I'm going to type in minus nine and hit the enter key. And when I do, you can see it was a mistake. It made it no minus 18. So I'm going to do an undo. Instead now, I'll do a plus nine, and you'll see everything is now in sync up to this mark down here. If I had done these first, when I would repair the earlier ones, it would screw these up. So the goal here is just to go mathematically across the next clip that has a problem. You select, and you can type in plus or minus the number. This time I'll type in minus 15, I'll press the enter key, and everything is back in sync. So repairing sync is pretty straightforward. You're just going to go ahead and read the numbers off the timeline and set up a situation that normally would knock you out of sync. A single roller video only trim is probably the best way to repair it.